If you haven't seen part one, please watch that first because the information in the beginning of that video will probably help you to better understand why I named this video what I did and why there's such a great concern about the NSA giving information to what they call Israel these days. In the first video, I read a paper, this paper right here, it talks about the NSA and some other things. And in this video, I'm going to read this paper that talks about the synagogue of Satan. And I have been distributing these papers together for a reason, linking the two. There's a picture here. Underneath it says Tabernacle of Molech. Underneath this picture says Star of Remphan. Underneath this picture says Synagogue of Satan. So I'll go ahead and read this. The scribes and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, as it is written. But how is a Gentile named Benjamin become Israel's prime minister? For I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Romans 2, 28 and 29. For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. But he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart and the spirit, and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. But so-called rabbis reject Paul's words in Romans, and they reject Christ in Matthew, who said, To be not called rabbi. Matthew 23, 8, But be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. They also reject the words of Moses, who wrote a new song, as it were. And I'm not talking about this song sung in Exodus when the children of Israel were led out of Egypt. I'm talking about the song that's mentioned in Deuteronomy that was made as a testimony against them. Deuteronomy 31, verses 16 to 19. And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, and this people will rise up and go a whoring after the gods of the strangers of the land, whither they go to be among them, and will forsake me and break my covenant, which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them, and I will hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not among us? And I will surely hide my face in that day for all the evils which they shall have wrought, in that they are turned unto other gods. Now therefore write ye this song for you, and teach it the children of Israel. Put it in their mouths, that this song may be a witness for me against the children of Israel. And Moses was not lying about what he wrote, for Solomon, who all Israel obeyed, went a-whoring. 1 Kings 11.7 Then did Solomon build an high place for Chamosh, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Molech, the abomination of the children of Ammon. 1 Kings 11.9-11 And the Lord was angry with Solomon, because his heart was turned from the Lord God of Israel, which had appeared unto him twice, and had commanded him concerning this thing, that he should not go after other gods, but he kept not that which the Lord commanded, Wherefore the Lord said unto Solomon, For as much as this is done of thee, and thou hast not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I have commanded thee, I will surely rend the kingdom from thee, and will give it to thy servant. So God gave them up. Acts 7, 42-51 Then God turned and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets, O ye house of Israel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Yea, ye took up the tabernacle of Moloch and the star of your god Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babylon. 
Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moses, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Jesus into the possession of the Gentiles, whom God drave out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David, who found favor before God, and desired to find a tabernacle for the God of Jacob. But Solomon built him an house. How be it the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord, or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do ye. So this is what happened. God let David know in 2 Samuel chapter 7 that after he slept with his fathers, he would set up the seed after him that would build his house. But David, who numbered Israel for Satan, jumped the gun and said Solomon would build it. And that's written in 1 Chronicles chapter 28. You see, God's house is made of lively stones. But Solomon hired masons who used hewn stones instead. So some people think the abomination of desolation lies somehow within Solomon's temple. Though God never dwelled in temples made with hands. And this is why the desolate tend to hate Paul, who wrote 1 Corinthians 3.17. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. The synagogue of Satan worships the beast that was and is not. Revelation 17, 8. The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world when they behold the beast that was and is not and yet is. 1 Kings 10, 14. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was 603 score and six talents of gold. Revelation 13:18 Here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and 6 signed Saint Michael And I care to add that I'm not speaking against Benjamin Netanyahu because of his national origin because I'm not a racist like some people. I'm speaking against him and a lot of others because of transgression by law. Law transgressors. So please keep in mind that when God had Moses write these things about speaking against the children of Israel, that God is not in transgression, and that the word anti-Semite and anti-Semite law is partial law, obviously. And it is designed to protect law perverts. I'm not partial myself. You know, anyone of any national origin who gets right with God, you know, um, I don't have a problem with. And God doesn't have a problem with if they get right with him. So uh, let's not make this, you know, an, he's an anti-Semite thing because of these things that I talked about. He's, you know, it's, it's not about that. And these people who, wh whatever national origin they are, they, if they don't want to get right, they end up dying the second death. That's 
written in Revelation, which is going to the lake of fire. That's what happens. They get destroyed. So let's please consider how the kingdom is given to the saints. It talks about that in Daniel. And how about Paul, who so many people hate, said that the saints judge the world. Because Paul also wrote something that a lot of people don't understand, and I've mentioned it so many times in Romans 13, how the powers that be within the first six verses of Romans 13 are the ministers of God. We don't claim a separation of church and state law like some false powers do. So this is what I was led to talk about. Again, thank you.